My name is Toyin Kim. The author of this story, Year of Impossible Goodbyes, is Sung Yu Che. The story opens in 1945 to 1950 with one girl named Sukan and her family. I would like to present 15 big events of this story. In 1945 spring, the story began. The main character of this story is Sukan. She has three older brothers, one younger brother, grandfather, mother, father, and one older sister. Chapter 2 1945 June, it was Helen's 16th birthday. Suddenly, Captain Narita and his two lieutenants came. Their swords swept everything to the ground, and they took Helen's present, grandfather's things, and methods to make Japanese weapons. Chapter 3 Three days after Helen's birthday, grandfather died. Three days after, his beloved pine tree was chopped down, down. Sukan and her family were really sad. Chapter 5 After Captain Narita came to their house, Sukan's mother received a message from Captain Narita's lieutenants that Sukan must go to Japanese school and they will enroll her in the Japanese school from tomorrow. The, at the school, one boy shouted to the principal Watanabe that Koreans must kill the Japanese. Sukan clapped, so she got expelled. August chapter 6, August 15, 1945, the Japanese left Korea. Koreans were free, so they put up Korean flag, were humbled, and they used Korean freely. After Japanese left to Korea, Koreans were really happy, but many people who joined Japanese labor camp came back with has passed away or very ill. Koreans were really sad. Chapter 6 and 7 After a few weeks, the Russians came and began to occupy Korea. Sukan and her family spent several days hiding in their dark house. Sukan attended the real little period school. Chapter 8. In the late October, Sukan and her family were waiting for their brothers and father, but they didn't came. came. They went to escape to South Korea. Her mother was taken by one, one of the Russian soldiers at the checkpoint, and Sukan and her brother were deserted by the guy. They lost their mother. After Chapter 9. After their mother taken by the Russians, Sukhans and Inchun starved. They were both sure that they were ready to face the soldiers. So they walked in the direct of the wooden guard house where the soldiers had put mother's side. Sukhan went to the next room and the soldiers interrogated Sukhan. They tried to find the rescue. Chapter 10. After a few days, they found Dobrovsky and they followed Dobrovsky to escape to South Korea. They slept, they slept under the wire and then they ran and ran. They were in South now. When they reached, Sukhan heard the soothing voice. It was hell for Sukhan and her brother. Epilogue. When they were in South, they spent for several days at the Red Cross Center at 38 Fowler and they got their father's address from the information center in Seoul. They were nervous and, exci and excitement to go to their house and when they stepped through the open front door, they were, they all were her father and their older brothers, but their mother wasn't there. They didn't receive news for her mother. After they came to their house, Sukan and Inchun joined new school. They liked their new school and liked being home with all their brothers. But each day they prayed that mother would join them. After six long months, mother suddenly appeared at the house. Mother arrived at home in so safely. Life in the South was almost everything Sukan had ever hoped for. But 
their freedom and happiness did not last long. In June 15, 1950, the war broke up. North Korea and communist soldiers filled the streets of Seoul and were soon joined by Chinese communist troops. Russian tanks came barely to Ling through. While the war was breaking up, and many just men, many more North Korean refugees made their way to Seoul. Theresa and the other nuns finally escaped and made their way to Sukhan's house. They told the Sukhan and her family that Kisa and Aunt Tiger were shot by the machine guns. They never heard any news about the South Korea's or about Sukhan's friend Uni. Now I, I want to present this depiction. My character is Kisa. About him. Kisa is a Korean man who is mechanic. He works in the sock factory. He has deep gentle voice and he is really kind. Description about him. One how how nice Kisa was. Page twelve. To the Sukhan and her family all loved him and were happy he had not been taken away to a labor camp. Page thirteen. So as as father's nephew, he tried very hard to fill my father's place. Although mother told him he was doing the job for four men by being here to help all of us women, Kisa wished that he could be working with my father in Manchuria and Korean independence movement. How it looks like. He has twinkling eyes and the light in his eyes danced. He has, a, he has a handsome nose. He lost a couple of fingers on his right hand. He has been injured one of his legs, causing him to limp awkwardly. Thank you.